Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the podcast. You are, are listening to the Crypto Millionaire Journey. It's your host, the Wolf of Crypto here. Welcome back, folks. Got a interesting project for you guys today. We're going to be uh, diving on into identity. Uh, this particular project has been very big as far as my early project watch list. The guys are, uh, or I should say this company in the crypto projects, pretty, pretty new. Um, and what they're looking to do, I think, could be pretty beneficial, uh, especially when it comes to the KYC space. And for those of you that are familiar with the KYC process and how sometimes that process can be a bit long, a bit tedious, wish there was some type of way or, I don't know, let's say uh, another alternative to kind of bypass all this writing down of the particular statement date, Gotta take a picture, you know. And for those of you that are not familiar with KYC, which is basically know your customer, um, it's normally a process that normally happens when it comes to pretty much signing up on exchange or maybe just being able to invest into a particular project. But these guys, these guys, uh, they're looking to basically uh, pretty much make a digital ID. Uh, this will be the first KYC and authentication services powered by NFT blockchain technology, of course. And it's incubated by Bluezilla. By the way, you guys can buy this right now on PancakeSwap and also on Uniswap. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, if I can remember correctly, Identity dropped, I want to say right around, uh, around September. Or like mid September, around that time frame, uh, was a little disappointed I couldn't get the ideal price because obviously you'd be, I would say, a, a nice chunk of change up right now. But no, nevertheless, price is still pretty cheap. Like I said, right now, current price is about a penny. You know, uh, I believe the highest is gone is I believe about two cents and some change. I believe it got close to that three cent range, uh, somewhere around there. And then, uh, as far as me personally, I just been watching to see, you know, what type of partnerships these guys are uh, getting involved with, because um, you know all those announcements are very key, especially when it comes to what they're trying to do. Now, as far as the project overall. Um, I know some of you guys are probably thinking, well, why did they create identity? Obviously, I've already been touching this on this subject a little bit as far as the KYC process. Um, so right now, the current KYC landscape, you usually got to go through this KYC attempt every time they want to use a product. Identity comes in where their platform and products don't need to go through laborious KYC attempts. They could just off shift cost to users and attain effortless KYC integration processes within minutes. And check this out here, folks. So your KYC with identity, you'll be actually be able to mint your identity. So you'll be able to mint your digital ID, which can then be used to KYCs and log into any partners slash products with ease. So again, as they make these partnerships, uh, obviously there's development, product development updates, but prime example, they just announced another partnership agreement with WinPeak. Uh, as far as WinPeak, so WinPeak is actually a real-time multiplayer platform with real crash prizes that connects developers with an enthusiastic audience of competitive players. Their mission is to unite players across the world for exciting contests using their platform exposes you to millions of players worldwide. So 
again, this is a partnership right here that is obviously beneficial for identity and all of its investors, right? So again, trying to keep up to date with what's going on as far as what type of business moves these guys are making. It's just going to obviously make it a little bit easier for their investors to obviously rest. And then obviously it's for some new investors that might want to get involved with the project. They can come on in and uh, get a little taste of what these guys are trying to do. Because like I said, I think this is going to be really beneficial. This is a tool service that, like I said, is going to just ease that process. And as far as the company and their business experience, these guys have over five years experience in compliance. And they've already implemented uh, online compliance service. And obviously, they know all the pains of client verification in various business sectors, especially when it comes to crypto. They have over 100,000 plus steady cases, three compliance officers, and they found a nice solution for the fast verification. Now, right now, they are in quarter four of their roadmap, which is the business business marketing campaign. So obviously, it seems like that's going pretty well, uh, considering all the par different partnerships these guys have been able to do. And then you look at Q1, which is going to be their official launch. So uh, January, February, um, man, it's going to be interesting to see how the project develops once the official launch happens and i'm curious to see if the token price will you know shift in any direction um and then the login with identity uh functionality launch will happen in q1 as well of next year and then q2 you got the white label and uh SAAS product release uh they got some partners obviously these guys are listed on a couple exchanges um, not too many. Uh, you got, like I said, you get the Dext, uh, you get the Pancake Swap, you got Uniswap. Um, so far for right now, and like I said, the volume is pretty low. I mean, we're talking about what sixty-four thousand in volume, and obviously their ranking is pretty low right now. Uh, they're what forty-five hundred, but the services here, folks. Uh, the KYC, KYB, um, the blockchain-based digital ID, um, source of funds check, they'll have address check, login slash authentication, mobile number verification, email verification, payment method check, uh, video verification, sanctions, uh, PEP and warrant list checks, manual verification. Um, so as far as like, well, you know, how is this really going to work? Pretty, pretty, pretty simple, folks. Pretty simple. You're just going to have to pass the KYC process by providing a document, confirming your identity in some cases, which is normally like a proof of address, selfie, or a video. Step two, you'll just follow the verification for your digital ID based on the EMT token uh, will be issued, and that token will contain all your personal information gathered during the KYC. And then obviously, once all that is done, you'll be able to use your verified digital ID to authenticate on partners' websites and services. Registration and login process will be smooth and effortless. So again, making the KYC process simple, easy, and hassleless, basically. So as far as the users, uh, once you complete your one-time KYC on the platform, Again, you'll be getting that ID token that will basically act as your electronic ID um, on any authorized platforms and exchanges. Um, and then obviously, upon your successful verification, a uh, user will receive one ID token and the verification results are stored and time stamped on the blockchain. And then as far as businesses that want to use uh, their services, they can connect uh, and quickly authorize users with existing IDT or to verify any new uh, 
And then as far as uh, KYC providers, they'll provide white label solutions for those that need to launch their own KYC project and business and would like to work on their blockchain. So I think that's also something that's going to come in handy. Um, also, too, if you get a chance, uh, especially if you want to learn a little bit more in depth, I mean, check out the white paper. It's not too long. It's about, what, maybe 16 pages. Uh, it just kind of gives you a more in-depth analysis as far as their business plan and kind of the vision of where they're trying to go and different ideas, and stuff like that, and the market that they're obviously targeting. Now, for me, I've been waiting for this particular feature on the platform for a little bit. Um, you're actually able to stake uh, your identity token. So... Right now, they have uh, pulls. You got a three-month pull, six-month pull, nine-month pull, and a 12-month pull. Um, and depending on how much a day you plan on staking, APYs vary um, starting from the lowest of 50% to the highest of 100%. Um, and as far as the early withdrawal APY, for some reason, I'm seeing 0%. Um, kind of curious to see if I was to withdraw my rewards, my earnings I have right now. Um, I guess I'm curious to see if there's going to be any penalty, but from what I'm reading, looks like here, folks, there's not going to be a penalty for early withdrawals. Um, so that's something to kind of keep in mind, but yeah, I decided to go with the 12 month pull, get that full hundred percent. Obviously, the maturity is going to be for a full year. Uh, and then, obviously, once you start staking in these pools, those earnings start accruing uh, ASAP. So, right now, I'm already accruing some rewards. And this is going to be fun. Um, especially, like I said, to whole idea is to stake now, get these rewards, especially before um, the official launch. Uh, as far as uh, Q1 goes. And then also, too, as the product and the company develops, things start to go well, partnerships continue to happen. Uh, staking the coin, earning these rewards, you know, could be another beneficial uh, passive income stream. That's something to look at, too, because, again, with these APYs and depending on how much identity tokens you have, I mean, hey. It's not too shabby, not too shabby. Obviously, I'm curious to see will those fluctuate and over time as more users, and, you know, people obviously get involved with the platform. But yeah, this is definitely a project, again, that I am, I'm obviously behind. Um, I think these guys uh, really got something. All it really comes down to is delivery. They're able to deliver on what they're offering, uh, having a digital ID. You know, this could start a trend or something. Because um, if it does uh, make that efficiency as far as the KYC side of signing up, um, that could actually be very beneficial for the space just for the fact that a lot of, I would say a lot of average users either struggle with the KYC or they get frustrated because it's such a process. And, you know, those are people right there that are not even involved in the space just because of a simple sign-up process. So hopefully this is a project that can kind of bust through that barrier and, uh, you know, get more people involved in the space. But that's going to really wrap it up. As far as this particular episode goes and on identity here, folks, again, if you guys haven't had a chance to check out identity, I suggest you do. Um, it could be a breadwinner. Obviously, right now, it is very, very cheap. Um, and then, obviously, like I was saying, going to be following these guys to see if they do make any more announcements uh, as far as partnerships go. Because... These guys have been working. Uh, definitely been seeing the work behind the scenes. Um, 
And now it's just a matter of just kind of waiting. Um, like I said, these guys, uh, as far as being fully public released, we're looking at as of, what is that? Uh, around mid, late September. Now we're looking, what, three, four months in the future. You know, who knows where the price of identity uh, could potentially be. But again, mark your calendars for that Q1 of next year when uh, we get some product launch. And um, and like I said, this is all according, this is all according to the, the roadmap here, folks. This is... This is all stuff. If you do your due diligence, do your research, um, quarter one's gonna be, like I said, interesting for the project because the official launch and then uh, being able to actually log in, see some functionality uh, behind uh, all their platform and all their services. So, mock your calendars, check out identity. Uh, they are listed, of course. They are listed on Coin Market Cap. I believe they're listed on Coin Gecko as well. Um, and then obviously they're listed on BSC Scan and Ether Scan. But that is going to wrap it up for this particular episode of the Crypto Millionaire Journey. Uh, as always, appreciate you guys tuning in, listening. Hope you guys getting a little educated. Hope you guys are taking some of these notes, man. You taking some of these tidbits here, folks. Because I'm pretty sure if you've been following along, there's drop some nugs out there. Drop some nugs. If you're able to invest into some of these projects I'm researching, talking about, obviously. There's so much. There's so many. Keeping up with crypto. You guys heard me say before, it's a full-time job, full-time gig. 24-7, the market does not close. It does not believe in sleep. So this this is always a fun ride. Uh, definitely got some other projects, other uh, coins that I will be talking about on some future episodes and some... Very interesting projects as well, uh, just for the fact that um, there's this new uh, new concept that's been kind of uh, bouncing around the crypto space. Um, I can't, ooh, it's going to bother me. I cannot think of the name right now, but um, it is a, it's part of a business model or say ecosystem model that some of these new projects or incorporating but like i said you'll hear all about that in the future episodes i'm your host the wolf of crypto you guys have just listened to another episode of the crypto millionaire journey and until the next episode y'all take it easy peace